today again to see either my PA or my surgeon check out my back wound I'll tell them some of the issues with the front wounds and yeah hoping they tell me everything looks good and I'm progressing well it feels like it is so we shall see there's the zoo again we are stuck in crazy traffic so I might as well show you that Time we were, there. yeah, we were making great time, but we've been stuck here for 10 minutes. So there's the zoo. <laughs> up or down, up or down. I don't know. First floor. Okay. Oh, jeez. First, first, where's the one? There we go. Ah! I hate this. chair this time where I was not able to do that the last time but the last time we were here was when I got my stitches out so I thought we were going to be late, but I think they're running behind, so that works out really well. Yay! Get a picture of it. Mm -hmm. It actually opened on that side first, and that already filled in. It's not like splitting open or anything, and mm -hmm. I've been there, done that with the big guy, so I'm not too worried. Come on, dude, pop out. See that little guy right there? Little string. That's interesting. So I didn't know that they were. I thought they would dissolve. I know that's what I'm saying. That's cool. This is actually come to a point. It was like night and day when we left. It's like, this hurts, but oh my gosh, it's so much better. Yeah. All right, so we just had the appointment. As you saw, my doctor thinks, or my PA thinks that uh, there's a yeast infection going on, which I'm not surprised with everything else going on. So we're gonna do the nice satin powder, um, which is what I was using for my ostomy a lot anyway. So I have that at home. And uh, I'm gonna come back in two weeks rather than four weeks. You have been for six months. <laughs> I was hoping for six months, not so much. Um, so she's just gonna see how it looks afterwards. I just got a text on my phone though from CVS saying um, they're gonna contact her for another prescription because apparently whatever she ordered they don't have. I don't know. Kind of annoying. So, oh well. 
But now we are heading to Cadoba, which is very similar to Chipotle, but I, I Cadoba's kind of better. And that might start some controversy. Do I want to say that? <laughs> but we're gonna head there. We're gonna have a call with our civil engineer for the barn. So we're gonna do that in the car and then we're gonna eat lunch. And then we have a meeting at 3 p.m. in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, also for the barn. Um, so it's a really busy day. And of course I have a lot of work that I need to get done, but I can't do it until I'm home. So tonight I'm basically gonna be working the evening. I have my phone on me for patient problems, but boy, it's just, it's busy. And I wish that there was a, a day between Sunday and Monday little extra weekend but until that is made um we're, we're gonna be working today <laughs> There's a couple reasons. Um, he was thinking about the grading of, of the land. If we pull some mm -hmm. of the dirt out, you know that white fence that's along the road? Yes. So he was saying if we pull some of that dirt out, do some boulders as our, our block, I guess our blocker, I don't know what to call it, um, move that soil out over the, the grass so it kind of flattens it out. It both hides it from the road, so you're not seeing this giant parking lot, yep. but also makes it more aesthetically pleasing and, and kind of fits in better with the farm because there's going to be stone. Um, I don't know. Am I explaining that well? <laughs> yeah. Zach is probably better. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, uh, long linear, long yeah. Linear, right? like, yeah, yeah, rather yeah. than placing a big rectangle, you know, that, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Going to Cadova now. Our call is all finished. And it was good and productive. All about parking lots. <laughs> I can't even see. It's so bright Talking out. About parking lots in a parking lot. Went well. <laughs> oh, irony. Next. Next door. Oh. <laughs> still bugging me today and I mentioned it to the PA um, and she had given me a I'm assuming a nephrologist's name over at my hospital so I'm gonna give them a call and see if I can make an appointment I have a feeling they're gonna want to do some tests which is uh... Please hang up and dial 911. Hi, my name is Margaret Baldwin and I am a patient over at Um, I recently had surgery with a GI surgeon, Dr. and he referred me uh, to call you guys for Dr. I believe is the name, uh, to make an appointment because I have some problems with one of my kidneys. All right, super unpleasant lady, jeez. I, I shouldn't say it. When I pause my music, it should stay paused, and I don't know why it decides it's going to play. Um, as an RN, I would, like, get my head cut off if I was unpleasant to patients. But I've noticed that every other field is allowed to be, like, not happy some days. But I, I literally wouldn't have a job if I was unpleasant to patients. It just blows my mind. Like, whatever. I know that's not everybody. I know that... Not everybody in that field can be kind of not nice, but whatever. All right, so hopefully I actually get a call back <laughs> and they, they can tell me uh, if I can schedule with them. 
I was told this one specific doctor and that he wanted to see me specifically because he was the one consulting with my surgeon about everything. So we'll have to see. All right, guys. So obviously we're all done lunch. I did my call to the doctor and nothing's resolved there. <laughs> Hopefully I get a call. Oh, here we go. Excellent. Third Avenue, so fourth Avenue. Um, we are heading to... We're heading to 4th Avenue, as Jillian, the GPS, says. Um, but we are going to have a meeting for the barn, some business planning. Turn left, then turn left. And this is where Zach really shines, and I'm going to sit and be quiet. <laughs> so I don't screw anything up. I'll, I'll chime in when I need to. But we are going to leave you here. I hope everybody's feeling well. And uh, we will see you in the next. Bye, guys. Yes.